Here we go, experiment number two, fractional distillation of an acetone toluene mixture. So today we're going to try to learn how to do a fractional distillation properly. Here's how they did it in ancient times. Here's how we're going to do it. And I'm going to show you how I want you to set up the glassware. So we start with our stirrer plate and the heating mantle goes about there. And then you need a 100 mil round bottom flask in the flask we requ require boiling stones boiling stones make everything go smoother so in they go just about a half dozen put the lid back on there now we have to clamp the flask it's most important that the boiling flask be securely clamped this is for your safety position it move it down a little bit and we get the flask in a cliff. And right in here, you can see, we've got it securely clamped right under the lip. Drop it down. And there's just enough wiggle room that I can pull this out and take it off. So, flask is in place. We have the fractionating column, which goes here. We have a security clamp that goes up here. And this will prevent the whole apparatus from falling over. Falling over is bad. Now, the distillation itself requires these three pieces. You have the still head, the takeoff, and the condenser. These pieces go together. Still head, condenser, takeoff. And to hold them together, we are going to use a rubber band. Careful now, you could shoot this across the room, but we stretch the rubber band carefully, snap it on there, and gravity will hold it in place. Finally, we're going to have our receiver flask here. And we're just going to use A 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer. Clamp that one in place. Slide it up into position. We'll need a thermometer. Be very, very careful. When you put this thermometer in here, keep your fingers close together so you don't break the thermometer. And then position. And the bulb. We gotta get right in here. The bulb must be below the exit point for the distillation. That way we'll get the proper temperature. Excellent. There's your setup. Water in the bottom, out the top. The heating mantle is always plugged in to the power supply. The power supply is important for the heating. And from there, when it's time to add your liquid, gently remove your thermometer a long stem funnel, and you can pour in your acetone toluene mixture. Hope that helps you get started in the lab. See you later.